Hello everybody, hope you're doing fantastically well. It is Connor here and we are back with the Southampton preview. Well, it's going to be an exciting one, isn't it? A very exciting one for Leeds United. I'm going to be there. I cannot wait. A lot of you are probably wondering why this background is what it is. Fan of yours, are you? If you're not, it's a good film. Check it out. But yeah, we're, <laughs> we're back here to discuss the Southampton game. I can't wait to be down at the ground tomorrow. Shout out to Jerry. Shout out to Big Polo. I'm going to meet him. Brownie will probably be there as well. Looking forward to seeing a few of you guys as well. So if you see me in a big Tommy Hill figure coat, please come say hello. And uh, yeah, we'll get into that and uh, maybe go for a pint or whatever. But yeah, not been down to Ellen Road in far too long. So yeah, hopefully it's going to be um, Javi Grazia's first win. So I stuck out on Twitter uh, earlier on. I was a little bit upset. Can't deny it. Um, it. They showed me the thumbnail. Listen, I'm a big... Obviously, thumbnails are, are part of my job. I create them for Man City. I create them for Leeds United. I create them for many other uh, content avenues. And if you do not have the manager or the player on the content uh, on on the uh, on the thumbnail the content creation that is the thumbnail there's a problem there there's there maybe a player who's injured there's a manager who isn't there <clears throat> i preempted that Javi Grazia wasn't going to be there. I was. I have a, a decent source <laughs> who's normally right for, for most things. He told me that he wasn't going to be granted a work permit for the weekend. I went early on it, and there you go. Um, a lot of the Twitter um, bedsheet stickers uh, came at me for that one, the ones who uh, never never undraw the curtains so there we go uh yeah no it was it was it's all a bit of banter on twitter i do love it i do have to say so uh shout out to all you lot um listen uh we're gonna get into the southampton preview of course we are obviously southampton have appointed sellers uh i believe it's ruben sellers who's going to be their manager for the rest of the season also a decent appointment obviously got three points away at chelsea which is a decent result and uh, alongside that, apparently he's got a decent pedigree behind him as well. A lot of people down at Southampton, according to Phil Hay, very infused by his signature, which is maybe a slight worry for us. But, you know, we've got to stay in our own lane. We've got to go forward and we've got to take points off of the teams. It's that simple. We've got teams like Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs, City left. We're going to have to take points off the big boys, everybody. There's loads of people who are, who are looking at Wolves. They're looking at Crystal Palace. They're looking at teams like that and thinking Leeds are going to have to get points off some of these big boys. Or, or off these boys, I should say. Um, but we're going to have to get points off some of the big teams in this division. You know, like Grazia's teams have done against Man United, like they've done against Chelsea before. Leeds are going to have to go to some of these. You know, we've got Stamford Bridge very, very soon. I believe it's next week, actually. We're going to have to go to Stamford Bridge and get something. Um, so these are where the points are going to start racking up from. A lot of you might look at it and think, Connor, there's no chance of that. I'd probably agree with you. But if we're actually playing a disciplined 4 4 2, a regimented 4 4 2, a rigid 4 4 2, or a 5 3 2, or a 3 5 2, and Leeds look more solid and we're able to be um, effective in transitional moments and we see a different Leeds United, then I'm going to be infused. This is the start of a new page, a new chapter of Leeds United's history, hopefully. And if Grazia is able to galvanise this side and he is able to keep Leeds United up, that is one of the greatest achievements um, we've seen in our recent history because we are still up against it. As many of our top journalists have referenced, Leeds are still up against it. We are still up against serious problems when it comes to this division. You know, you, you've got, what, 19, you're in you're 19th position. You've got, what is it, 18, 19 points or whatever the hell we've got at this, this moment in time. You know, how dire straits it was under Marcelo Bielsa at that point when we were getting pumped by Spurs, City and, and Liverpool. We're still on 23 points at that stage with Dallas and Forshaw in the midfield, Tyler Roberts in central attacking midfield and Dan James up front. So it's it's a it's a worse scenario right now than what we're in, and we've invested over 100 million into the side since that point. So Leeds need to start changing right now. The players need to start stepping up. That's another thing I want to discuss. The players stepping up, they've got to really take this game by the scruff of its neck and win it. Simple. Southampton at home, bottom of the league. We've played Everton, who've been below us. Uh, we've lost. We've played Leicester. They've been below us. We've we've lost. We've played West Ham at home. Uh, we've drawn. Uh, they've been below us. It, it, you, you've simply got to start dictating and taking points off some of these teams now. There is no excuses. I think if Leeds lose this game, they're down. I thoroughly believe that because I think this is one of those games 
in, in, in the calendar season where it's, it's, a, it's another must win and how many more must wins do you need and Southampton up to this point are actually worse than Leeds you know take that into consideration everybody actually just take that in they are worse than Leeds at this moment in time so no excuses whatsoever Leeds have got to go out there and win um, and you know it'd be great to see a good performance it'd be great to see a dominant performance I can't see that. I don't think Grazzi has had enough time, which he illustrated today, to be able to implement his strategy, tactics, ideas. And you can't. And that's down to the poor pep preparation of the club. You know, we've had two weeks um, where this is this is led to um to, 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 to Grazia's Grazia's appointment, um, and he's what fifth, sixth choice, but we don't need to dwell on that. And that's what I was saying at the start when it came to me saying, you know, I didn't believe he was going to get his work permit because we know that's down to Brexit. We we know, um, you know, the, the the formulaic way that that you know that that is that is you know uh, made up of now. And we don't need to get into that. However, the fact that this club took so long to employ a manager of Javi Grazia's caliber, where we're all actually reasonably happy. Um, is I thought would actually come to the fore today and be the problem. I thought that would be the problem. I thought, you know, you cannot actually believe it's taken this long for this appointment to happen, a reasonable appointment, and we're going to lose out on a work permit for him to be at the Southampton game. Because if he hadn't have been at the Southampton game, that would have been the Everton and the Southampton game, two of the biggest games in our in our recent history where we've not had a full-time manager, which would have just been absolute chaos. So, um, yeah, listen, overall, excited for this one. Uh, and 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 I'm and I'm and I'm 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 feeling, I'm feeling like a win tomorrow could do a lot. I am. I'm feeling a win tomorrow could almost. Ch you know, you, we saw not long ago Everton when they played Arsenal at home. They were able to really turn the tide with a really top win against uh, against Arsenal, one 0 victory, and it almost as as has invigorated them. You know, the for me they were unlucky against Liverpool. You know, what is it, James Tarkowski hit the post, Liverpool went to the other end and scored. If that if that header had have gone in, who knows how that had have changed. Then beat Leeds United. It's six points out of nine. We need that 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 galvanized um resurgence right now. And and Everton have had that when they were down in the dumps, they were done. They were done. They were relegated ownership turmoil. They're coming out and and spouting about the fans. The fans are against the owners, yada yada yada. The players aren't good enough. They bought nobody in January. And look at them now. They're on an upturn. Um I think it's unlikely. I do think we've left it too late, but I hope I'm wrong. Of course I do everybody. I hope I am wrong. And I hope Leeds United are able to go into this fixture and dispatch of Southampton. And then hopeful that we go to Chelsea, um, and then we get something at Chelsea, like Southampton have done. It is you know, Chelsea are in turmoil at the minute. We've already beaten them this season, so I'm looking at that fixture and thinking we can go in there and get something. But this has got to start right now. And if this doesn't start right now, Leeds United are sinking into the abyss. Quite simple. Um, I'm not going to give you a score prediction, but I am going to say everybody that I think uh, this, as I've said multiple times, has to be a, a win for Leeds United. It's not about loot. Um, you know, must not lose. We have to win this game now, um, or, or, or I think it's going to turn a little bit. But guys, as well, if you want to get involved in bet, involved in our betmate competition this weekend, it's well worth it. Of course, it is every single weekend. Um, you've got the usual stuff in the description below. Make sure you check it out. We've also got a bonus offer um, in the description below. If you guys just like predicting score lines, if, if you just put in the pot code F. T dash result. You can literally predict the scores for this weekend, and it is free entry for a guaranteed five hundred quid pot. So you can do your your fantasy football team. You can get involved in that, and then you can literally do a score prediction one on the side, and it's free to enter. And the guaranteed pot is five hundred quid. Literally, like you see on Skybet when it's Super Six, and you just pick your teams, and then you get a pot at the end of it. But this. Um, there's obviously a smaller pot, so there's a more guaranteed uh, chance for you guys to win some money. Well worth it. I've done my team this week, um, and, and as well, you guys can get involved. The link is in the description below. Make sure you do so, everybody. It's well worth it. Betmate have sponsored the channel for a while now. They are the best betting daily, weekly, monthly fantasy app on the site. Make sure you check it out, everyone. It's a load of fun. There's loads of people on our leaderboard as well. But this FT-result thing, um, this new initiative that Betmate have brought out is well worth it. As I say, just about score predictions, just a bit of fun, and it's free entry. Guys, let me know if you are down at Ellen Road. Get it in the comment section below. Where are you sitting? I'm going to be in the West Stand. Can't wait to see some of you tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Cheers.